So we're doing something different. We're in our office together. So Phil and I are each facing each other on different computers, but um, so this is something new for us. But we are super excited. <laughs> it didn't work. You didn't show your fingers. We're super excited tonight to have Diamond Ambassador Lisa Sharrock with us. Um, she is hilarious, first of all. Every time I'm around her, I find <laughs> myself laughing. She's so much fun to be around. She's super dynamic. And what I love about this Plexus journey, as we have talked about many times before, is that everybody comes with their own story and their own way that Plexus really found them. And I just thought it would be an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to hear from Lisa tonight, hear about her journey with Plexus, how she um, got started. And um, we're going to just turn it on over to you, Lisa. Thank you guys for inviting me. It's, it's, it's an honor um, to be on your call. So I have to tell you that I'm doing this from my phone because um, I am here in my Florida house and I brought my laptop with me and for some reason it's not allowing me to connect um, on my computer. So this is on my phone and it's a little fuzzy because um, it's a little tiny screen. So Forgive me if I squint um, and I'll be using my glasses at some point to read some of the things that I've prepared for the call. But thank you, um, Jen, for um, asking me to be on this call. Um, it's really my pleasure and I'm just going to get right to it. So, um, yes, I am um, Lisa Shryock, Diamond Ambassador. Um, I've been with Plexus. This is actually my anniversary month. Um, November the 16th will mark three years with my Plexus. Texas journey and I can tell you that this has totally totally changed my life my family's life my husband's life just it's just incredible and had you told me um, three years ago prior to me starting Plexus that I would be involved in network marketing I would like no that's not me I'm not that girl um, I had actually heard about Plexus two years prior before signing up a, a girl that uh, used to buy things from me off the garage sale pages. She uh, had lost some weight and came to my door and was buying something from me. And I said, gosh, she looks so great. How did, what are you doing? And uh, she said, well, I'm in, I'm in Plexus and it's this pink drink and you pour it in your water and drink it. So her delivery um, was not something that I was crazy over. And I was like, yeah, no, not for me. So um, I just kind of like shut her down immediately because I'm not that person. Network marketing doesn't work, right? Right. No, it works. So let me tell you a little bit how I got started. Um, I was in telecommunications for 14 years and I survived three layoffs with a big uh, conglomerate telecommunications company in Atlanta. So my time was kind of coming up. I always kind of joked that I was coming on my 15 year mark and they um, had to give me five weeks of paid vacation versus the four weeks. So that's really kind of why they laid me off. But that was just kind of a little joke that I used to tell my boss. But um, yeah, so I got laid off and I was lucky enough to have severance from March until October. So I really wasn't that worried about finding something because I was still drawing a paycheck and I still had benefits. Um, so I was back and forth, back and forth, um, doing the interviews. and. Um, I, I was very, very, very unhealthy, like just tired and tried every kind of product out there, Weight Watchers and just everything. And it just, it just didn't work. Looking back now, I know um, it was really all about, for me, my journey, gut health. And so um, I uh, was, it was approaching October time frame, and I was about to lose my benefits and I had been interviewing and um, a friend of mine uh, had posted about Plexus and said, you know, my mom's on this. Why don't you try it? Blah, 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 blah. I said, well, why not? Why don't I try it? So funny, <clears throat> I went on to Plexus Worldwide Facebook site mm -hmm. um, and I asked a question about probiotics, about the ProBio5. And lo and behold, Tamara Holloway, who is my upline, um, she is the one who messaged me and responded to my, my question on that Facebook page. And we just kind of struck up a conversation and I bought some probiotics from her, the probiotic from her. And about 
two weeks later, she just out of the blue messaged me, hey, how are you doing? How you feeling? Yada, yada, yada. So she said, can I call you really quick? And I was like, sure, I'll, that's fine. So she called me and her very first exact words to me was, hey, how are you feeling? Have you ever thought about selling plexus? No kidding. That's exactly what she said to me. <laughs> My exact words to her were, well, okay, why not? Now, remember, I'm not that girl. So I, I know that God had a big hand in what I was, uh, you know, about to embark on. So um, I remember buying the $99 welcome pack and signing up. And then, I mean, it has just taken off. So um, it, it's funny because my story is a little bit different with um, how I start promoting Plexus and sharing Plexus. Um, I uh, moved to Florida shortly after we joined Plexus, never in a trillion thousand years thought that Plexus was going to go anywhere. Okay. I just never thought it was going to take off. So we moved to Florida, uh, bought a little vacation home and, and decided to stay here and refurb it before we moved back to Georgia. Now, um, again, you know, I had a couple people join my team, but never in a million years thought this was going to take off. So my outlet for sharing about Plexus is, was strictly on Facebook. My outlet was garage sale pages. Um, I never, ever, ever had parties. I never went to my first sip and see. I probably would say my first sip and see that I went to was when I was an Emerald ambassador. Um, I, I promoted Plexus strictly on garage sale Facebook pages. Um, posted, you know, three times a day, did my due diligence and followed up and um, join as many garage sale Facebook pages that I could join. Um, and I literally grew my business sitting in my recliner in my pajamas every single day on Facebook garage sale pages. And a lot of people ask me, you know, what, how did you join pages and how did you join different groups? If they let me in, I joined the group and people, I mean, I joined Hawaii and Montana and Chicago. I mean, you can just go out there and you can Google, I mean, you can Facebook search, you know, Chicago online garage sales or, you know, Tennessee online garage sales. And I get a lot of questions and they, and, and it's like, well, what do you put on those pages versus what you put on your regular page? I put the same thing on the garage sale pages that I would put on my Facebook page, the same exact thing. And that's how I literally grew my business on these pages. Now, um, you know, like I said, I never went to parties and I never did anything. And I, I never even, I didn't even attend a meeting. So for those people who are sitting there saying, and I don't want you to think that that's the only thing that you have to do. For me, that is what worked. Um, for others, it might not work for you that way, but that's how it worked for me. So um, as my journey has gone through, um, I get some from, some from time to time, I get some of my team people asking me, um, or, 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 you know, I have a lot of people on my team that's very successful. I have rules that are on my team that are successful. But I have, at, from time to time, some of my team members come to me and they'll say, Lisa, you know, this isn't working or this isn't working or how do I get this and how do I get these people? And so uh, when I was preparing for this um, call, um, I, I thought in the, this morning when I woke up, I said, okay, well, let me go through and tell them about follow-up and let me go through and tell them about posting and let me go and, and, but you know what, you guys know this, Jen, you know, and Phil, I'm sure I've told you about follow-up and that's, that's where the fortune's at and, and you got to post and you got to do that. But what I want to talk about is what you can do as, um, the ambassador, um, if you, kind of are challenged or maybe things aren't working, I always tell my, my team, well, let's take a look at some of the things that you can do to increase your business. And let me put on my glasses because I'm half blind. I can't see. Let me pull up my iPad and I'm going to give you some of these tips um, about what I tell my team when they come to me. And because because here's the thing, I can give you all the information in the world, um, I can tell you to follow up, but it's really you 
that has to do this work, okay? So some of the things that I tell them is, one of the things as I say is, how bad do you want it? How bad do you really want this? How bad do you really need this? Um, and I tell them, I said, and forgive me for reading this, but I, I made some notes. I tell them, before you give up or say that you can't work this business, you gotta check yourself and see if you've really done these things. Only you know if you have done the things that I'm about to mention. How bad do you want it? Um, my very first question to them when, when we have a one-on-one -on -one call is, how much are you investing in your Plexus business? And so there's a little self-assessment that I have them to kind of to, to think about. I don't have them answer it, but I just kind of have them write down the questions. And then when they finish the call with me, I had them kind of go over these questions to see um, what it is that they really truly are investing in. So it says here the here it goes. Number one is, have you have you registered for Super Saturday or when we have convention did you register and go to convention um, you know are you going to the things that that's put out there the resources are, that, are you going to the meetings are you attending these live calls because these things are going to what sometimes the information that you hear can be redundant but I know for myself even as a diamond ambassador when I go and attend conventions or leaders retreat or if I attend um, um, Super Saturday, it just supercharges me and it gets me really, really motivated to really, really say to myself, okay, you know what, I'm back in the game. My head's there. I just needed to have this little refresher. Yeah, I got it. So are you registered for a convention, Super Saturday, those kind of things? Also, are you using your Plexus products daily? You've got to be a product of the product. How are you going to be able to um, share and promote these products if you're not using these products? Um, here's a big one that I always have. I cleaned up my Facebook. It's, this is huge, y'all. So from time to time, um, you know, in this, this whole political season going on, um, a lot of times we can really, really um, post things that might not be I don't know, politically correct or maybe offensive. So we kind of want to watch what we put on Facebook because here's the thing. You have tons and tons of people watching you, whether you believe it or not. Even those people who you message that haven't messaged you back, they're watching you. So you want to be able to um, be the kind of person that they want to be. You know, you, the controversy with the whole political stuff. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I put things out there too, but sometimes we got to kind of watch what we say. Um, also, um, I, am I focused on my personal journey um, so that I can get, um, so that I can get much closer to being product of the product. Again, product of the product, taking your products. Um, have I invested into my business? So here's the big one. Have you bought pamphlets? Have you bought um, business cards? So I all the time wear um, Plexus um, hats. That's my thing. I just love wearing hats. And so I'll tell you a real quick story. I'm getting my nails done and I had on my Plexus hat and a Plexus t-shirt. And I tell my team, guys, use it to your advantage. Use it for an icebreaker. Um, if you're shy and you don't want to, you don't really want to kind of like, you know, break out with the first, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing Plexus. Are you interested in it? Some of the things that you can do is wear your Plexus gear. So I had this shirt on and these ladies that were sitting across from me and they were kind of like staring at me. This whole entire time. And I knew down deep inside that I needed to go say something to him about Plexus. I left the nail salon, got to my car and I said, Nope, I got to go turn right back around and tell them about Plexus. So I happened to have my, my uh, pamphlets and some brochures in the car. And so I walked up to him and said, Hey, can I just leave you guys with some pamphlets? Some, you know, I'm in the health and wellness company, Plexus. And the girl was like, Oh my gosh, I've been seeing your shirt sitting across from you. I've been trying Find to find a Plexus ambassador. My old ambassador left, blah, 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 blah. See how that worked, guys? My shirt, my hat was the icebreaker. I didn't even have to go into the really the big spiel. So wear your gear. Invest in your business. I mean, really, how, um, if you imagine how much a startup costs for opening a business, when you invest 35 bucks for a hat or 20 bucks for a shirt, that is cheap. Okay. It's pennies compared to what a real, I don't want to say real business because we are a real business, but a, a brick and mortar kind of business, you know, is cost to start up. Um, 
Also, even if you haven't had great losses of inches and pounds, people can still see your moods and the things that you post and that you're happy and that you're, you know, you're kind of changing all around. So make sure that you guys are, um, even if you haven't had a real great success, it's okay because you know what? It's all about getting healthy from the inside. So don't feel like just because you haven't had a big, huge success story and dropped 200 pounds, it's okay. You drop one pound, you got a success story. You started the business, you have a success story. So don't beat yourself up about that. Um, also, here's another big one. So for me, personal investment is, is uh, personal self-development is really big for me this year. Um, I, I had a pleasure to go uh, attend Leslie Zan meeting. And one of the things that she said to me was, is you need to invest in yourself in self-development. 10 pages a day. Jen Hawkins tells about it. Um, she posted about 10 pages a day in self-development. That's all you need. Um, Leslie Zan talks about, when you get up in the morning, you owe it to you to, to do you first. Before you do anything else, you owe it to you to do you first, whether that's your per personal development, whether that's you, um, you know, following up with your potential people, your potential customers, your potential ambassadors, you owe it to you before you start on anybody on your team, you owe it to you to start doing you first. Um, um, also, I tell them, you know, have you used the Alexa, um, uh, kit that they sent you? Guys, that is, uh, for me, that is a lifesaver. Those little cards that are in there, those are a lifesaver. If you kind of stumble over your words, and I tell my team this, listen, pull out those cards. You don't have to know the science behind every detail. That's going to come later. Give them the nuggets of the information that is provided. Honestly, Plex is corporate is not going to steer us wrong. All the information is laid out in that kit. I mean, I wish I could see everybody on this call by the raise of hands. How many uses that kit? My, my, some of my ambassadors will come to me and say, well, I don't know how to do this. Are you using your Plexus kit? That's what it's designed for. Everything that you need is in that Plexus kit. Um, I'll also to uh, have you watched YouTube videos and have you searched out any kind of webinars, marketing webinars? John Maxwell is awesome, and I'm super excited to say I joined up uh, in January to take a class with him. It's going to be amazing, but we have so many people out there that their, their forte is to do these webinars or to do these YouTube videos. I am still learning about these videos, and so when my team comes to me and says, well, how come I can't get this, and how come I can't get that? Are you watching the YouTube videos, okay? Very, very important. Um, Okay, here's another one too that I tell them. Your Facebook page, are you drawing people to your Facebook page? It doesn't have to be Plexus related. You could say, hey, my husband and I are having a competition and we want to know what's best in ketchup. Do you use Heinz or do you use, um, what is it, Heinz and Del Monte? Okay, start to where people have to go and answer your questions. Do you roll out your biscuits when you make chicken and dumplings? You know, that kind of thing. Is your toilet paper up or is it down? You want people to come and, and go to your pages to start. To, if you have more than six people to comment on your, your Plexus pages, it's going to start a feed and it's going to start showing up more and more in people's feed. So that's another thing that I tell them. Utilize your resources. Um, also, I'm sure you guys have asked Jen and Phil to do one-on-ones with you guys. Use Jen and Phil. They are awesome leaders. You, that's what they're there, there for. We have always all started out being an ambassador. And as we grew, grew our businesses, we reached out to the people that we wanted help from that were influential who've gone all the way to the top. So use Jen and Phil. They are excellent leaders. Um, also, do you participate in your group pages? In the very beginning, I had to I had to go out on my team page and say, guys, uh, this team page, it's your team page. Participate in everything that Jen and Phil have out there for you guys because it's only going to benefit you, okay? Um, Start, I tell them, listen, if you're not getting any traction on your Facebook page, search out vendor groups, search out um, school carnivals, school festivals, you know, the PTAs, that kind of thing. Search them out and go and do a table event. If that's your thing, by all means, go for it. You're not, you're not going to be, you know, hurting anything. If anything, 
you're going to be invested in your business. Um, you know, have an opportunity meetings of your own. Um, here's the thing too. How much are you spending every single day doing your business? If you think by just messaging somebody and then you leave it at that, it's not going to work. You've got to continuously follow up and be with these people. Okay. Um, here's the thing too. The last thing that I'm going to leave you guys with is if you are setting your goals too high, of course, we all want to be diamond. I want to re-enter and be, you know, re-enter as diamond. But here's the thing. I want to get through the first hurdle. If you are an ambassador and you want to be silver, yeah, you have your site set up on diamond. But don't beat yourself up if you're not diamond in three months. You've got to make that first step and you've got to be silver. When you reach silver, you got to reach that next step of being gold. And when you got to reach gold, you're going to reach that next step of being senior gold. Because here's the thing. Yes, you want to keep that big picture as being diamond. But if you don't make it in the time frame that you are allowing yourself, sometimes you can get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. You got to keep on going because I'm going to tell you it is so worth it. Mindset is everything. When you look in the mirror every single morning, and I challenge my team to do this. When you look in the mirror every single morning, you need to say, I am worth it. I'm going to the top. I'm going to do this. I'm going to reach my best today. I'm going to reach the people that need these products. It's a mindset. Don't speak any negativity out in the universe, guys. Even in a bad situation, try to turn it around to a good situation. That's what I always kind of live by. Um, some people, you know, they, if it's, I say to myself, if my car broke down, thank the Lord I have a car that breaks down, right? So try to find the good in everything. You got to say to yourself, I'm going to exceed. I know this as well as I know my name because I control my success. There are no secrets to success. There are no shortcuts. How bad do you want it? Three things that I tell my team, and now I'm going to end. Three things that I tell my team. You got to believe in the business. You got to believe that our, our leaders are doing the best for us in the best interest for us. Sometimes we might not agree because we don't see the big picture or we don't see behind the scenes what they're doing, but they really do have our best interest in heart. So when kind of things go haywire with our back office or whatever, just be thankful that we have people that are shooting for us and they are building more successful tools to help us with our business, okay? The second thing is, is you gotta believe in the products. If you don't believe in the products, how are you gonna promote them, right? You gotta believe in the products. And number three is you gotta believe in you, that you can do this. You got to set your sights high. You got to revisit your why and you got to believe that you can do it. And that's what I got for you. Mm -hmm. And that is awesome. Gosh, Lisa, thank you. You know what I love, love, love about your story, which I didn't realize that we had that in common because Gray and I shared um, off the garage sale sites. We were buying from each other and that's how I found Plexus through her. Um, but what I love, 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 that you didn't sugarcoat anything. You talked about really if we want to be successful and what and how you were successful is that you roll up your sleeves and you do the things that it requires to be successful. And right. that everybody on this call is and everybody on our teams, we're all on level playing field. We just have to be willing to do what it is, what it is that it takes to get there and not put our own timeline on it. And I love what you said about the goals because I think that that can be, we get in our way way too often. Yes. Well, yes. I set this goal for myself and I didn't achieve it. So this must not be for me. Right. Right. Not. So many. Right. You, can be, right. you can be your own worst enemy. And if you just say to yourself, I'm going to the next level and I got this, I'm going to do this and you achieve it. And if it doesn't happen as fast, it's okay. As long as you don't stop. They say, if you stop, it takes about it, from what I read, if you stop something, it takes about three months for you to gain ahead of where you were when you stopped. So don't ever stop. It's wow. amazing. That's a good, good little statistic to remember. Um, let's yep. open it up to questions. If we have time for just a couple questions for Lisa, I see Sherry's hand up. Can you just go ahead? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Hello. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for coming on. You're welcome. Um, you mentioned in the beginning that you were approached by an ambassador that was buying from you on that garage sale site. 
um, and you didn't like her delivery, do you think you just weren't ready to hear it? Or is there something specific that you would, would have said differently or do say differently? Well, so here's the thing. Um, at that time, um, and again, I really believe that God led me to um, Plexus at the right time. Um, timing is very important. So to answer your question about her delivery, um, I, I might have not been ready for it. Um, a big part of it is because I'm skeptic. I was skeptic. Um, I met network marketing is not supposed to work. <laughs> That's just me. That's the way I believe. Network marketing was like, are you kidding me? No. And I've never been involved in any kind of network marketing before. Um, but the delivery, I think really, really plays a part in how you, um, share and promote Plexus. So for me, if I have somebody, um, who says to me, um, if I post on the garage sale page and, and they say, well, okay, well, what is Plexus? So the very first thing that I do, I don't blab out and say, oh, Plexus is the health and wellness company and there's 15 products and yada, 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 yada. What I do to them, I say, I'm going to message you. And I, when I message them, I say, hey, have you ever heard about Plexus before? I do an interview process. And they'll say, well, no. And I said, well, you know what? Let me find out what your health goals are. Do you have any health goals? And do you take any daily medications? I always leave it open-ended for them to ask the question back to me. I don't, because if I just leave a blanket statement and just say, hey, Plexus is a health and wellness company. You know, we have 15 products in our lineups targeting da 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 You're going to get crickets. You always want to leave something open-ended have them have come back to me. So I always, 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 always ask them, Hey, you know, you asked me about Plexus. Here I am messaging you. What are your health goals? That's what I ask them. Always want to do the interview. And here's the real quick tip too, that, that did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because, because here's the thing too about delivery. I was telling somebody yesterday at a meeting, you can buy a dollar store present and you can give it to somebody in dollar store bag and it's going to be a dollar store present right and they're probably going to look at you like she just gave me a dollar store present right <laughs> if you take that dollar store present and you you wrap it in an elaborate package and a big bow and your, your excitement of giving them this dollar tree present and the delivery of how you gave it to them they're not even going to think about the Dollar Tree present. They're going to think about how it was delivered and how it was wrapped and how beautiful it was. And that's how you can do your Plexus business. You can, the delivery that you give them, you've got to kind of capture them with it. You always want to leave an open-ended question, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Thank you. Yeah, and let me tell you one real quick thing, and it's probably totally off the target here, but when I was talking about Leslie Zan about interviewing people and stuff. Leslie Zan said, it's easier to segue into, some, you always want to start off delivering the business uh, aspect of Plexus, and here's why. It's always easier to segue from delivering the business if somebody's not interested in doing that, to then saying, okay, well, what, you know, we have products, why don't we make you a customer? Versus, you want to be a customer? Well, not really. Okay, well, let me tell you about the business. You see where I'm going on that? It's easier to segue from the business to the products than the products to the business. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a really good sales tip yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. So I hope I answered your question. Anybody else? Okay. They're processing. I know I wrote tons of notes. Lots I actually have another question if no one else. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. No, I don't um, mind. Okay. Okay. So you said you did a lot of your business or you did the most of your business um, through those garage sale pages. So how did, well did that duplicate? Um, okay. So a lot of my team today, even today, they are still using garage sale pages. Now, Granted, some um, garage sale pages, you're going to have to look because they have rules. Um, when I did it, um, it was kind of a new thing. 
but it, you can still do it. I'm telling you, you can do it. Go and join. Go and join like anywhere. If they let you join, go and join anywhere. So I will tell you that I sort of kind of like cheated a little bit and changed my state where I lived because I wanted to get into this particular garage sale page in California. And you had to live in California to go to California. So I don't know if I, it's probably a good thing to tell you guys that I cheated to do that, to get in there. Um, but I'm just being real. So I changed that. Like, yeah, okay, I live in Cal My son lives in California. So I'm like, okay, I really am sort of kind of like just been in the room a little bit. Um, but I joined it. And so I've gotten customers off of it. So duplication, I mean, yeah, people use, my team uses garage sale pages. A lot of my team actually get a lot of their customers here in Georgia off the garage sale pages. Have you ever used a garage sale page before? Um, to buy things but not before because so all the pages that I'm part of, they don't allow you to post business. Oh, they don't. Mm -hmm. Then you need to find one that will. <laughs> but here's the thing too. But here's the thing too, y'all. Um, so before I did, uh, was doing, you know, the promoting the plexus, um, on the garage sale page. Um, I started a garage sale page, um, because I was flipping furniture. And so I started a garage sale page of my own. Um, and anybody could sell anything on that page. And I have like 25,000 people on that page now. Wow. So create your own garage sale page. Why not? Wow. Right. Yeah, I've definitely been considering it because in my area, I don't have one. I've been looking and I don't have one. Start one. It's easy. It's super easy. You just have rules laid out there and you know, you just, I mean, before you know, you're going to have 500 people on your page. So if you don't have one in your area, I highly encourage you to create one. Let anybody do, you know, make up your own rules. If you want, have a file there for the rules. Start posting about Plexus. Add your, add your friends, you know, share it. You have a garage sale page. Boom. There you go. Boom. <laughs> you, it works. Boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> boom shakalaka. He's putting a kid. That's in. right. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. I love thinking outside of the box too. And I think sometimes we put parameters on ourselves of the way we saw somebody else grow their business or the way we've maybe been taught by our upline. And then we think, well, that's the only way I can grow my business. And really, the world is our oyster, right? And as creative as we want to get and can get, it's really ultimately about building relationship and getting in front of people. So I love right. it. And I love your story about the nail salon. Been there. And, yep. and, and what we always tell our team is, what's the worst thing that can happen? They can't eat you. Right. Stranger anyway. If it doesn't, right. we'll use it as practice for the next person that it will work with. So. Right. It's a great icebreaker. I mean, I, when I wear my hats all the time, I have several different ones. And when I wear, you know, if I go to lunch with some girlfriends and I have a plexus, oh, well, I know about plexus, you know, we carry on a conversation. Even if they, uh, you know, are, are already on someone else's team, it's still an icebreaker and you're building relationships. That's what it's all about. Yeah, totally. Okay, yep. any more? What, we, can have, we have time for one more question, Diana? Um, well, and I just wanted to build off the garage sale thing, I guess, or, or ask about that because maybe I missed it because I was feverishly writing things down. but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you posted on the garage sale pages, um, just when people liked your posts, you would message them or were you getting comments? So both, both. So like anytime, anytime anybody likes, so my, my first of all, my, my Facebook page is an open book. It's open to public. Um, to answer your question about the garage sale pages, if somebody liked my post, I would send them a message. Message. Hey, I saw that you like my Plexus, you know, post, um, you know, can I, can I give you some information? Have you heard about, about Plexus before? What are your health goals? Do you have any health goals? Do you have any health concerns? I always leave it open ended or I would get, you know, people saying, Hey, what is Plexus? And I'm telling you, I post the same exact things that I have on my personal page that I would post on the Facebook garage sale pages. You know, I try to stay away from the cute. Listen, there's nothing wrong with artsy fartsy little graphics. There's nothing wrong with that. But honestly, people want to hear and see and read real live stories. I've even gone on there since Facebook live has started. I have gone on Facebook cell pages and did a Facebook live on there to see if I got any traction that way. So, I mean, think, think about, you know, think about what attracts you. I certainly will scroll past somebody that has, 
you know, buy this ShamWow. This is going to clean your floor. No, <laughs> you want to post something that's going to, you know, that's going to catch someone's eye, but it's not going to be too salesy. It's going to be a real life story. Someone losing some weight, someone having, you know, gut health issues and pooping for goodness sakes. How many people do you know that talk about poop on a garage sale page? Probably nobody <laughs> do it because it works. So to answer your question, yeah, I've gotten both. <laughs> Y'all, I have a poop hat that I wear a poop hat when I talk about BioCleanse. And it's funny because I'll take the, the my, my phone and I'll kind of like have it up on my head with my poop hat showing first and people are kind of intrigued. Yeah, I could see that. So do Facebook Live on those. Why not? Right? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Love it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you so, so, so much, Lisa, for taking the time tonight to invest in some of our team. Um, we so appreciate it. We um, really, again, just getting to hear a little bit more of your story and getting to know you a little bit better just makes me love you more. You're such a fun Aww. person, and it's very evident of why you've had the success that you've had. So we thank you for your time and um, importation to our team. Um, guys, thank you so much for being with us tonight. I know that this is always a sacrifice. There was lots of calls going on, different people in different places. So thank you. And um, we will be bringing our bi-weekly opportunity call to all of you next Monday evening at 8 p.m. Central Time. So be watching for more details on that. And everybody have a great night.